Good morning, everyone. So it looks like part two news has dropped, and uh, a lot of events and, and uh, new, you know, content or whatnot in general has come out. I got a pretty busy workday coming up, so I don't know how much I can cover it throughout the day, but at least before the uh, workday starts uh, this morning, I did want to cover the news and uh, just cover all the all, all the information jam packed within the schedule as well as you know the events and also the missions. So. Um, I'll go ahead and start off the bat. For those that are wondering how to get the additional tickets for the 66 multi LR guaranteed banner, uh, check the pinned comment. I have I have it all listed out in a separate video, so I'm not going to cover it in this one. But if that's what you're you're here for, just click on the link. I have it all listed out for you there. Okay, so let's just go through the uh, general schedule for part two, and then we'll go into the missions. I'll provide the uh, you know one by one translations that way you're, you're able to fulfill all the uh, mission requirements. But I just want to talk about the general schedule first. So of course, part two did start today, February 9th. We have a lot of e events that went live, including the uh, EZA for the Int Ultra Instinct Goku. So again, I'll cover the missions. Uh, we do have you know a set of daily missions and limited missions uh, part two. I'll cover that here in a second. We do have new stages available, so you can get this guy to an LR now and then uh, awaken these uh, two free-to-play units, and I'll cover that here in a second as well. This is live right now, so you can go in and, and go through the uh, 30 stages, get this guy easy aid, and also get you know 30 stones. It's killing two birds with one stone, you know what I mean? And uh, we'll get ready for part two with the uh, legendary banners coming up. All right, so new stages for the uh, Gods of Destruction assemble. So of course we have four new stages that came out, um, and and um, you know we'll we'll see how the enemies are. I haven't had a, I haven't had a chance to test them out yet, so it'll be interesting to see how things are. Uh, we also do have a new stage for Infinite Dragon Ball History that's live right now as well. So uh, this isn't these aren't limited by the way. So these are open permanently. So um, you know if you're still struggling, uh, you can always pick up units down the road and and uh, make life a little bit easier. Okay, we do have the uh, team co-op uh, campaign again. Uh, it's based on like you know missions, based on um, you know clearing story events and whatnot. We had that in part one, and uh, you did compete with other fellow players based on the amount of like story events cleared or whatever the case is. So that's pretty much the uh, the point with that. And then of course, uh, just like any other anniversary period, we do have the part two legendary banner. Of course, they haven't revealed anything, but. Uh, it is going live uh, February 16th, so that should be on on Tuesday of next week. So um, yeah, we'll I mean we'll find out uh, exactly who they are a couple of days beforehand, probably with the data download. But at this point, they're kind of keeping it close to their chest. Uh, it's the same case with the uh, rainbow tickets. I kind of went through here and I did not see anything about it either. Um, okay, so in, in terms of the stone shop. I do have to clarify, uh, because I made the mistake last year, even though you haven't used up all your sales right now, um, they will reset, like the uh, 90 stone pack will basically, the 30 stone and 90 stone pack is going to reset, they're going to come out with new um, new uh, discounts, so if you're reserving that for part 2, um, you know, you probably want to go ahead and get that, and then, you know, once the reset happens, you'll get a fresh set of uh, discounts, so. Again, I made the mistake last year doing it, so uh, yeah. <laughs> you know, the, the the lesser the stones cost, the better, right? That's ultimately what it comes down to. Okay, so uh, I think this is the other new one. This is basically all the missions, so let's run through this one by one, um, and we'll talk about it here in a second. So again, all these are based on uh, Dragon Stones and the uh, uh, special LR Guaranteed Ticket. Um, we also do have this Rainbow Ticket, or Super appreciation uh, ticket again we don't know anything about it yet but trust me as soon as I find out information about it I will make sure you guys are one of the first people to know about it so just don't worry about it as soon as the information comes out I'll cover it all right uh, let's see I mean it you know they, they keep reminding us that this will be available to be used uh, mid-February so I don't know if they're banking this on part three which could be a possibility um, but you know who knows at this point okay so with the daily missions, you'll get Dragon Stones, uh, the anniversary tickets, and then the uh, six-year anniversary coins as well. So let's just run through this one by one. So daily missions, pretty straightforward stuff. It's based on how many times you clear a stage, once, twice, three times. You'll get two of the coins, a ticket, and a Dragon Stone. So, you know, that's easy enough to accomplish uh, daily, and, you know, you get some decent rewards out of it. All right, now in terms of the uh, daily uh, or limited missions, I should say, let's just cover it one by one. So the first ones, you know, 
Uh, clear with a sp specified character. I'll check the actual mission details uh, to get that information. And then uh, this is uh, obtain a skill orb uh, once and you'll get those uh, rewards out of that. Uh, this is acquire at least five skill orbs. Uh, let's see, equip one skill orb, you'll get those rewards. Uh, equip three of them, you'll get those rewards as well. Uh, equip a skill orb and clear, you'll get those as well. Um, and these are tickets included also. But if you want it specifically just regarding tickets, um, again, check my video in the pinned comment. All right, uh, complete a support memory once, and then you'll get you know the rainbow tickets and a dozing Kai. Uh, utilize a support memory once. Uh, utilize a support memory twice. Uh, consume at least 100 support films, uh, consume at least 150 support films, uh, clear the shape up training event once, uh, let's see, clear the Roshi uh, story event once, uh, clear five times, let's see, clear the Roshi event ten times, you'll get the uh, ticket and like potential orders with it. Uh, clear the Miracle of Universe 7 once, you'll get another set of rewards, and then if you clear that story event five times, you'll get more rewards out of it. And then again, uh, clear this. Uh, clear the Miracle Universe Seven story event. Uh, Ten times you'll get those set of, of rewards. All right, Z awaken a unit here. Uh, Z awaken five units, and then raise SA level to at least two. You'll get you know the ticket along with some orbs out of it. Uh, raise SA level to three, five, seven, and ten. You'll get those set of uh, rewards as well. Okay. Uh, let's see, uh, exchange for an item in the Baba shop um, once and you'll get those rewards and then the rest are pretty much ACT related so if you look all the way down, uh, consume at least 200 ACT, 300, 400, 500, 600, 666, and 700 and you'll get all those rewards. So again, the last set are based on just consuming ACT, you can take your time with it, you know, there's a lot of stuff to do so I'm sure you can easily accomplish that over time. All right, uh, that was part one, so part two, I'm sorry. I, uh, I guess I didn't think about it, but that, I guess that was a good review. All right, part two. Uh, clear the Shape Up event once. Uh, clear the Miracle Universe 7 story event once. Uh, clear that story event five times. Uh, use a support memory once and clear. Clear a stage five times, 10 times, 15 times, 20 times. Uh, clear with specified uh, category and uh, you'll get that mission requirement. Uh, basically clear with at least three units in the specified category and you'll get the, uh, the set of uh, rewards there. Clear uh, Extreme Z Battle once, five times. Uh, move, or not move, but unlock 25 nodes in the potential system, you'll get all those rewards. Uh, use a training location five times, don't gonna awaken a unit uh, once, don't gonna awaken a unit twice. Uh, clear within one turn, uh, clear with no continues five times, uh, let's see, this is, <coughs> uh, use a support item at least once and clear, uh, obtain at least 6,666 zenny, uh, consume at least 100 ACT, 200 ACT, 300 ACT, 400 ACT, five, or 500, yeah, 500 ACT, and then those are all the rewards, and if you complete all part two missions, you'll get uh, you know the two rainbow tickets and uh, two dragon stones. All right, so uh, yeah, a little <laughs> took a little bit of time, but um, yeah, that's pretty much it. All right, let's quickly cover some of the event story events or events and and whatnot. So th again, these are new stages. We've got five through eight added. So it looks like it's uh, super intelligence type, uh, super agility type. These are two basically super int and super SDR and super tech. So those are pretty much the uh, enemies you'll be facing um, during the battle here. Now Infinite Dragon Ball History, let's take a quick look at uh, the set of enemies. What kind of theme they went with. So it's the uh, Universe 7 uh, Warrior. So looks like that's the case here. And uh, yeah, just um, looks like a total of nine battles throughout. This will be interesting to test out. I'm gonna have fun with that one. All right, again, the uh, Easy A is live for this guy, so make sure you go through it. You'll get 30 stones as well as Easy A, a, a phenomenal unit. This guy is uh, very good with the Easy A, so that's pretty much the takeaway with that. And I think the last set of missions is basically just talking about, you know, the final product of some of the units. This guy probably will get the uh, LR Easy A treatment in part three, my guess is. You, can get, you guys can awaken this guy to LR, but I feel like similar to... Um, 
the uh, Zamasu. I feel like they're gonna basically easy A this guy in part three, or they'll go with LRB pen. There was a lot of speculation as to which LR will get a uh, easy A this time around with the anniversary because if you guys remember um, the. LR Zamasu slash Goku is the one that got the EZA last year in part 3. Okay, and then the last thing I want to cover is the uh, story event for the Miracle Universe 7. Of course, uh, the new stages bring out the Dokkan Awakenings for some of the, the units here. So, let's just quickly cover what the stats look like. So, I think for the passive skill here, it's uh, at the beginning of the turn, uh, converts physical type key into intelligence type key, and then if you're able to obtain uh, six or more of the intelligence type key sphere, uh, additional attack, uh, additional super attack guaranteed, I guess, and then um, for every attack performed, attack and defense will increase by 20%, max of 100%. And then for the Roshi and Tian unit, uh, you've got a passive skill where you're getting an attack and defense boost of 40%, and then uh, for every attack received, uh, you get an additional attack and defense boost of 10%, max of 40%. And then Universe 7 category, allies get key plus one, attack and defense increase to 20%. So it'll be a decent support. And this guy, best believe I will be showcasing this guy because I, 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 I've been waiting for this to happen for a very long time. All right, I think outside of that, that's pretty much all I wanted to cover. So we got a lot of stuff to do. You know, get, you guys get busy, complete the missions, all the events, all the stuff. Get ready for the part two legendary banners to drop next Tuesday. You know, a fresh set of uh, new LRs coming out. You know, obviously the chance to pull them is a little bit slimmer than your your uh, Dokkan Fest, but uh, we'll see how things go. As soon as more information comes out, I'll make sure to cover it. But for the time being, this is pretty much the uh, the consisting uh, information that we have at this point. So, hopefully, you found it helpful. As always, thanks for watching, and I will catch you guys later. All right, peace out.